Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be explaining how to analyze your Google Ads campaign inside your Google Analytics 4 account. Now I know that it was a bit easier in the previous version of Google Analytics which is Universal Analytics where you can simply you know connect the two accounts and check the performance of your Google Ads campaign inside your Universal Analytics account. But with GA4, um, you know, it's a bit different, you know, it's a new platform, it's a new you know, product by Google, so I'm sure it takes time to learn. So I'm gonna show you how exactly you can analyze the data and the campaign performance in your GA4 account. So um, right now I'm inside my GA4 account and I have been running a Google Ads campaign um, to promote one of my, my product. So what I'm gonna do is, in order to view the campaign performance, you need to click on the Reports tab and then the Acquisition Overview. On this screen you will see, um, you know, pretty much an overview of like users, new users. Uh, but as you scroll down, um, you will also get to see a column that says uh, view Google Ads campaigns. So click on view Google Ads campaigns. And this is where you will get to see data coming in from your Google Ads into your GA4 property. Um, so straight away, it's gonna share information regarding the number of sessions from your Google Ads campaign and on the right hand side you have this chart um, that will show you like the sessions and users. Um, but the key thing to analyze over here is your actual campaigns, right? So as you scroll down, you will get to see the name of this campaign, the total number of users, total number of sessions, engaged sessions, Google Ads clicks, um, so how much money was spent, um, cost per click, conversions, cost per conversion, and all the good stuff uh, when it comes to um, you know the website performance through the Google Ads campaign. Now the next thing that you know we want to actually figure out is at an ad group level. So how are different ad groups performing? Which ad group is helping you to reach your target audience? how long, how much time they're spending, how much conversion rate um, is coming from those specific ad groups, and even like if there are any micro events like page views or time spent on page or signups or anything of that sort. So to do that, all you have to do is click on this drop down over here and instead of session campaigns, um, you can click on session ad groups, sorry, session ads as group name. So as you can see inside my campaign I only had one ad group so right now you can see just one um, ad group over here but let's say in your campaign you have multiple ad groups then you will get to see all the ad groups over here and the metrics for each of those ad groups. That's fine. The next best thing is click on this drop down and then you can click on this Google Ads keyword text. Now this is going to tell you the exact keywords that you were bidding when you were running those Google Ads and how um, they are performing in terms of your website analytics. So for example, there are two keywords um, that I have been bidding inside my Google search ads. And as you can see, I'm getting all the data for each of those keywords um, that I have been bidding. And you can see like, um, you know, which which keyword is giving me conversions, uh, the cost per conversion, um, and, and all the good stuff, right? So that's how you can, you can uh, view the analytics data for your Google Ads um, uh, in terms of the keywords that you're bidding. The next thing is, instead of keywords that you're bidding, you can even select on the ads query. Now, these are the queries that your target audience have searched online and they clicked on your ad and they came to your website. This is actually the most important part, I would say, when it comes to analyzing your um, traffic performance from your Google Ads campaign. 
because keyword bidding, I mean, you know what keywords that you have used for your search ad campaign, right? But to actually see which keyword actually got you a conversion, I mean, that's next level. I mean, you can always do that in Google ads, that's fine. But the point here is to analyze all your data inside your new GA4 property, right? So as you can see, these are all the keywords that, um, that my target audience was searching for. In Google ads, this is called as search term, um, but it's funny that Google uses different names uh, on, in, in two different products. In Google Analytics 4, it's called as Google Ads Query. I, I wish they would have used the same, you know, terminology that is a search term. That will make it less confusing, but unfortunately they, they decided to use Google Ads Query. But anyways, this is the same as search terms in Google Ads. Okay, so these are the queries that my target audience searched. How much traffic I'm getting from each of these queries. Uh, and you can see, I got two conversions um, on this particular query, which is online digital marketing courses with certificates. Okay, so so as you can see, like it's a pretty good good way to you know analyze your metrics and data uh, inside your GA4 property. Um, so that's you know that's pretty much it. I think um, the other thing that you can do is you can even click on this plus, and you can uh, probably add additional. Uh, segments so I, I'm just gonna see if this works I'm gonna say user and then town city uh, and then let's see if Google Ads or, oh look at that yeah it can figure out that's awesome okay so so you can add you know additional data and this data you can't get it in uh, Google Ads um, and that's why you know analyzing your campaign performance in GA4 um, can be a little bit more better um, because you can add these kind of secondary dimensions. You can even choose like the paid screen or the, the acquisition, um, session acquisition like Google Ads uh, group or Google Ads group name. So you can do all kind of, you know, um, parameters, permutation and combination to know more about your campaign performance. So that's pretty much it guys in terms of, um, you know, how to analyze your Google Ads campaign inside your new GA4 property. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Please do subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share, and I will see you next time. Thank you.